So this video is all about sudden wealth syndrome. I'm actually a Powerball winner and I'm super excited to give you my thoughts. Are you listening? So this video is all about sudden wealth syndrome. My name is Timothy Schultz. I actually am a Powerball winner. I won the Powerball in 1999. It's one of the biggest, craziest things that's ever happened to me. It was life-changing. Uh, it's changed my life in ways for the better and to be completely transparent for the worse as well. But I'm incredibly grateful that I won. I feel very fortunate and lucky. And somebody somewhere eventually always wins. I'm proof of this, um, but the odds are terrible, so never spend more than you can afford to lose if you're playing the lottery. I'm actually also interviewing other lottery winners on this channel. It's one of the things I'm doing in addition to these vlogs. I have a background in broadcast news and journalism and film, and so I'm combining these interests with my desire to meet other people who have also won the lottery to see how our experiences are the same or different. So if that sounds like something that interests you, go ahead and consider subscribing to my channel. And I'm also working on a book about how the lottery has changed my life. And I'm writing a whole chapter on sudden wealth syndrome and how I believe it has affected my life. So I'm putting that in a link below. But this video is all about sudden wealth syndrome. Now, if you're not familiar, sudden wealth syndrome, I mean, I didn't even know what it was until sometime after I had won the lottery because I, I heard about it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's like very similar to what I have experienced. And so I did some more research on it. I don't know, it just, there are consequences to winning the lottery that I never um, knew about or imagined. And I know not every lottery winner is afflicted by this sudden wealth syndrome, but I believe that I was. And so I'm pretty sure that there are other lottery winners out there that feel that way as well. But what it is, it's a term coined by a psychologist. And it basically has to do with problems adjusting to sudden wealth, like the stress that is brought on by that happening. And I know that's a stress that many people uh, would like to feel, but it's not something that um, I ever expected as a lottery winner to have felt. But I believe that I did. And one of the symptoms of this sudden wealth syndrome as it's coined by the psychologist is uh, an extreme sense of isolation and so i felt this way i mean initially when i won i believe i had to come out publicly so i had a press conference and um, it was the biggest news of of the town where i was living it was like the biggest thing happening front page news you know all over the television and i couldn't even go to the grocery store without people kind of whispering or asking for an autograph and that sort of thing. And so, uh, you know, I didn't feel comfortable going out in public. At that time, I wasn't even uh, used to me in front of a camera. And so I just didn't feel comfortable. So I ended up having to move. But it goes beyond that why I felt isolated. Just because you win the lottery doesn't mean that your family, your friends, your peers, the people that you love and care about that you're connected to, doesn't mean that they won the lottery. I mean, you can help them to an extent, depending on how much you won, but you probably can't retire everyone that you want to. So that in and of itself is sort of isolating. If I wanted to go on vacation, most of my friends and um, the people that I knew that I would want to go with couldn't afford to go. You know, when I won, I was 21 years old. Hardly anybody I knew had that kind of money. And so I had to pay for other people to come with me if I wanted to do anything. Most people that cared about me and loved me did not ask me for money, but um, some people did and most people were understanding, but other people were not. And some of the people that were closest to me or who I at least thought were closest to me prior to winning the lottery, some of those relationships were ruined because they didn't understand when I couldn't help them financially. And if I helped even a small little percent of all the people that ever asked me for money, I would have went broke like almost immediately because there's too much disparity in the world. And I made a whole video about why people, why I believe people come out of the woodwork. I'll put that below uh, because they certainly do for a lot of people, not for every lottery winner, but for a lot of them. But, you know, I really felt um, very much alone after I won. And it is a, a symptom of sudden wealth syndrome because just because I won doesn't mean everyone else did. And I really felt like an outlier, an outcast. I didn't know anyone uh, even remotely in the same um, 
monetary bracket that I was in. And so I had to pay for everyone else if I wanted to do anything extravagant, which I wasn't really into doing too many extravagant things anyway. But if I wanted to do anything, I had to pay for other people. Another symptom of sudden wealth syndrome is guilt. Guilt for having won. And it's something I never would have um, imagined that a lottery winner would feel, but I certainly did. Um, for quite a while after the exhilaration of winning wore off, I actually felt guilty for having one because um, I couldn't help everyone that I wanted to help. And I had, you know, even loved ones um, who I had to tell, no, I'm sorry, I can't help you <laughs> because I don't want to go broke. And it's not my place, you know, and I did help some people. I did what I thought that I could, but then I stopped. And now I don't give money to family, nor friends, nor strangers, even for those I feel sorry for, because I can't afford to do that. Not that I don't care. I just can't afford to, or I'll be broke, you know? And so it's when I look at people that are less fortunate, even people that I love, and also people that I don't know, um, you know, homeless people, um, you know, it's not fair. And there's this sense of if you win the lottery, you know, I'm so lucky that I won the lottery, but why is there a homeless person on the street? Well, you know, that's not fair. And it's not fair. It really isn't fair. There's disparity in the world and it's not fair. And if you win the lottery, at least for some lottery winners and for myself, at least, I felt um, a sense of um, guilt for having won because I couldn't help all the people that I wanted to. Um, that I felt sorry for. And I also, the act of winning disrupted some of the closest relationships in my life. So I felt that um, just playing the lottery, that I had somehow caused these disruptions and these ruined relationships from just playing the lottery. But now I see it as life learning experiences. I think that um, everything that I've been through as far as relationships being ruined, it's also, you know, open doors and opportunities. And I've also met uh, many people that I wouldn't have met if I hadn't won the lottery. So there's been very positive things as well. It hasn't just been negative, but the um, guilt is real for some winners. And that was the case for me initially. And it's something I never would have imagined um, had I not experienced it. And the third uh, symptom of sudden wealth syndrome that I want to talk about in this video is an extreme fear of losing your money, because if you win the lottery, for most lottery winners anyway, like a jackpot, a major, major lottery, it's, it can be a life-changing thing. You can be like sweeping floors one day and a multi-millionaire the next, and that's amazing. I mean, that can be awesome and incredible. There's so many positive things that can happen, but many um, lottery winners are fearful of losing their money, rightfully so. I mean, look at all of the pro athletes, all of the celebrities, and yes, all of the lottery winners that end up going broke. It happens. It's very easy to spend money. Very easy. And especially if you don't have a budget or you don't surround yourself with people who can help you manage the money, who have an education and a, a background, an experience, a track record of managing that kind of money that can tell you how much you can realistically afford to spend and not spend if you want to keep it or at least not go broke because um, quite a few lottery winners do because I see you know some lottery winners who come across hundreds of millions of dollars and then uh, five years later they will um, not have anything left or at least not have much of it left and I think there are many reasons for this, you know, I myself haven't been perfect, but I do realize that I have to live uh, within a budget, um, just like anybody else. And even if you have one million dollars, one hundred million dollars, five hundred million dollars, you can go broke very quickly. So believe me about that. So it's important to have a budget and an understanding of how much you can realistically afford to spend. But the fear associated with sudden wealth syndrome, the fear is real because you come across it. It's like they say money doesn't grow on trees. Well, no, it doesn't grow on trees, but it sort of grows on a lottery tree. If you get extremely lucky and happen to hit the big one, then it's like all this money pops out of nowhere. So the fear is what if it can just be gone? Then I'm what am I going to do, you know? And it's a real fear. But there are stresses that can come with winning the lottery that are under this term of sudden wealth syndrome that I have found myself that has affected me. I'm writing a whole chapter about it in my book. I am putting a link to that below. And I'm also asking other lottery winners about their experiences with sudden wealth syndrome and not everyone has experienced these types of negative 
stresses as a consequence of winning the lottery. It doesn't happen to everybody. There's plenty of positive things that can come with winning the lottery as well. And sudden wealth syndrome is one of the darker aspects that can affect some winners. And it did affect me. And, you know, that's why I thought I would make this video because I just think it's a really unique thing. I never would have even imagined that if you win the lottery, why would you feel guilty for having won? I mean, something I never would have um, even pondered, you know, because winning the lottery is just an incredible, incredible thing. And you can do so many positive things with the money. So it doesn't have to be a negative experience. But I found that Sudden Wealth Syndrome affected me. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and let me know in the comments what you think of this Sudden Wealth Syndrome because um, I found that it was very true. I don't feel like I'm still afflicted by it by any means. I feel that um, I don't feel guilty for having won anymore. I once did. I once felt very isolated um, from my peers. I don't necessarily feel that way anymore. I have an understanding that I can't help everyone in the world that I feel sorry for financially if I want to keep anything left and I don't feel isolated. So I don't feel that I'm overly affected by sudden wealth syndrome right now, but when I won, I feel like I was. I was even only 21 years old at the time. So my friends were definitely, most of my friends were still working. Um, everyone I knew practically was working. Like hardly anybody was retired unless they were elderly. And so if I was gonna retire at 21, what do you do? Do you just sit around in gluttony on a beach and um, drink Mai Tais all day? Or are you gonna do something with yourself? And so, so what I did is I went back to college and studied film and journalism. And I've interviewed quite a few people as well over the years. And so I'm now combining these interests in launching this YouTube channel and interviewing other people I find fascinating, including other lottery winners. So if you wanna see some of those interviews and you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel. But Sudden Wealth Syndrome, I think is uh, very real. It definitely affected me, I believe. And so I just thought I would share it because I think it's a really rare uh, thing. And I think it does affect people who come into sudden wealth and I think it can cause uh, stress. Of course, that doesn't mean that winning the lottery isn't awesome because it is awesome and it can happen to anybody, but never spend more than you can afford to lose because the odds are pretty horrendous. But somebody somewhere has to win. I'm proof of this. All the people I'm interviewing are proof of this. So anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of sudden wealth syndrome? I love checking out your comments. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.